It has been known since the 1980s using FDG PET imaging that there is decreased glucose uptake in brain regions affected by Alzheimer's and can precede symptoms by decades. Glucose hypometabolism, insulin resistance, mitochondrial dysfunction, and neuroinflammation have broad and profound metabolic impacts on the brain and could explain many other pathologies in Alzheimer's and other neurological disorders, and a broad approach is needed to address these problems. Studies using several techniques, including dual, ketone, and glucose PET imaging, have shown that ketones, an alternative fuel for the brain produced from fat in the liver during fasting, are taken up normally in affected areas of the brain and produce ATP through the TCA cycle and electron transport, but without requiring insulin. In addition to brain insulin resistance, GLUT1 and GLUT3 and PDH complex 1 deficiencies are present in Alzheimer's and reduce glucose entry into the brain, into neurons, glia, and into mitochondria. Mild to moderate nutritional ketosis has been shown to reverse insulin resistance and help maintain normal glucose control in people with type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Using dual tracer ketone and glucose PET imaging in more than 300 young and older adults, Dr. Stephen Kunane and associates have identified a brain energy gap in cognitively healthy older adults of 7 to 9% that worsens in MCI to 10% and further accelerates in mild Alzheimer's to 20% or greater. They have also shown that increasing blood ketone levels could fill in that brain energy gap. The ketone beta-hydroxybutyrate has been shown to reduce brain inflammation by way of the NLRP3 inflammasome and by other mechanisms shown on the slide, as well as improve neuron survival when exposed to A-beta and reduce A-beta plaques and tangles. Optimal blood beta-hydroxybutyrate levels of 0.5 to 2 millimoles achieved through diet and other strategies are many times lower than in diabetic ketoacidosis. There is a wide spectrum of ketogenic diets ranging from 0.5 to 5 millimoles or higher. Mild to moderate ketosis can be achieved by reducing carbohydrate intake to less than 50 grams per day and by consuming more than 50% of total carb, protein, and fat grams as fat. Greater reduction in carbs will further increase ketone levels. Other strategies that will increase ketones include overnight fasting for at least 10 hours, adding MCT and or coconut oil to meals, adding ketone salts and esters, caffeine, and exercise, which has been shown to increase blood ketones and increase ketone uptake in the brain. Some people who use several of these strategies have reported sustained meaningful improvement for up to 10 years. Scan the QR code for complete references, and thank you so much for listening.